I hope you guys have some basic idea about uh, trap handling, what is trap design time and uh, trap run time. So if you still have confusion, just watch this video uh, first uh, before uh, seeing this video. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to just talk about uh, how to define trap handling in the behavior definitions. It's very, very simple process. Uh, we just have to uh, define uh, some of the syntaxes in the behavior definition so that's it it will be done okay so the runtime will be handled by the framework so we don't need to do any about code implementation okay let's get started welcome back to my youtube channel okay so this is my behavior definitions okay uh, i have created a very simple data model with customer and product uh, so it's basically like a one-to-one -one relationship. Uh, so each customer will be having multiple products. All right. And uh, I have defined uh, behavior or projection behavior definition and also service binding is done. All right. So uh, I will show you the glimpse of the applications. Uh, right now there is no data and uh, you know, you could see the create button is not enabled. So for, I have used Odata version four in this case, uh, the create and edit button won't be available until you enable the draft handling. So draft handling is something uh, much to for uh, Odata version 4 if you are using. But uh, if you are using Odata version 2, you don't need to worry. Without draft handling, you could be able to uh, do the uh, basic code operations. All right. So let's uh, start finding the draft handling for this uh, behavior definition so first thing is we have to enable the existing business object to uh, draft to business object so that i will just simply add this keyword with draft so next thing we have to define draft table for this so after this persistent table i will use the same database table name but with suffix underscore d so this is uh, the recommended uh, naming convention, okay? Third thing is for the root node, we have to define um, e tag. It's, we, it's e tag is already defined, but I'm talking about total e tag, okay? So this should be defined after this lock master. So total e tag, I'll give a column, unique column for this total e tag, okay? next thing is we have to define draft action okay we don't need to implement it basically uh, the runtime framework will be taken care of it just we have to define it otherwise it will give a error okay draft action we'll define the edit draft action activate draft action or uh, discard draft action Mm, resuming draft action sorry it's going to be a determine action prepare okay and uh, finally uh, we have to do it for the uh, you have to enable the draft table for our child entities as well okay so draft table for product underscore d okay so let's enable for the our association here we have association to products from the customers and uh, here uh, back to the customer from the product okay so after this you just simply add the with draft likewise you have to add here as well with draft okay so the error could be with uh, you know uh, the draft table is not yet created so let us create by a quick fix just simply create this so your job was just to the activation so it will create a database table for you just do this activate that's it so likewise let's create uh, for product
awesome so let's uh, do a syntax check now okay so all the errors are gone i'll activate it so one warning is coming here it's saying that draft activate should be defined as optimized to enable optimized execution of app so this is something you know you can use uh, uh, if your application is uh, having some performance issue due to the determination and validations okay otherwise uh, we can leave this okay i don't have any determination in my behavior uh, definition so yeah i'm going to skip this so let's go back and uh, define the same thing in projection behavior definition so far we have done in the uh, draft handling we have defined the draft handling in the base behavior definitions but uh, we have to expose this to our ui application right so we have to define the same thing in projection behavior definition as well so here i'm just going to use simply use draft then um, uh, i have to define all the actions that i uh, have defined in the base behavior definitions so let's quickly define this so actions are defined uh, let's uh, add the association syntax as well okay i think it's uh, almost done let's activate and uh, so yeah so the action is you don't need to define it in all, uh, all of the nodes uh, just you have to define it only in the root uh, entities okay fine yeah let's uh, go back and reload this so earlier we don't have a create button let's check it now you could see uh, when you enable the draft there is something called editing status will be enabled okay i'll talk about this later so and uh, you can find this that the create button is enabled earlier the create button was not enabled right let's try to create it so uh, when i click on the create button so you will have you have the columns to give the inputs so Additionally, you could see something here create and discard draft. We will talk about the discard draft later. Okay, but let's say like I'm just trying to give some input here. So you could see something called updating draft. Then once it's updated, it become a draft updated. So for non-draft mode, okay, so it it won't save anything. Correct. But when you enable the draft, so whatever you type here in the UI will get automatically updated to the database table. So which database tables? Your draft database tables. Alright. So I have updated something here. Okay. So let's go back and check um, our uh, uh, both database tables. So this is my active database table. let's try to check the content nothing here right i'll open the draft database table and execute so you could see one record is there and the uh, column the only name column we have updated that updated back in this draft database table okay so i would like to show you in the inspect uh, uh, network tab the same thing okay so you would uh, see immediately how the request is sent back to the server okay once we type some columns so let's say chennai so if i click our uh, somewhere you could see the batch request is sent to the backend it's a simple you know uh, update request okay and if you see the body it's just basically city chennai okay just go back to the <coughs> drop database table there is no value in the city just reload this you got the updated value 
so that's how the draft automatically you know uh, whatever the user types okay which automatically sends the uh, those data and update in the draft database tables okay so your active database table won't have this record at all okay so uh, when we have this uh, record at the active database table so at the time you click on this create button so what will happen if i click on this create button there is a two main uh, draft action will get triggered one is prepare and other is a activate so prepare will just simply uh, check if the, the data is consistent or not with the determination and validation execution okay and activate action will simply uh, just create the new record in the active database tables copying from the draft database table all right let's see how it is happening so you could see one batch request is sent and another is also sent back just click here i'll just try to so the post call is sent if you check the action name it's a prepare action okay and once it found there is no error the data is consistent then another action draft action activate has been triggered so here your uh, content uh, you know whatever we have uh, editing in the draft version will be updated to our uh, original database tables all right okay the next thing is edit so when i click on this edit button immediately the edit action will get triggered okay so let's see uh, in the network tab so just click on this edit see check it here your edit action will get triggered okay and you could see the preserve changes is always true because it doesn't want to you know um, if you make this as a false then whatever the draft version already there exists then it will be replaced with this current draft version so i uh, so so from the ui by default it will check the preserve changes as a true okay I will just close this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a product. So I create, click on create again. Just I give some product name. Let's say Apple, which is uh, 10 kgs. So immediately when I'm typing, your draft is getting updated. Okay, and amount amount is something 500 USD. Of course, we have a draft database table for our product database, right? So I'll quickly open and show those records. See, whatever we have updated, it's that. And uh, you won't have anything in the draft database table. Right. Okay. Just click on apply. So if you click on uh, apply, this it simply comes back to this object page only. It will not trigger the, you know, activate the uh, action. Okay. So you could see something here draft, right? So if you click here, there is something called saved version. Okay. So let's say you are typing something and you want to go back to go back to this whatever the saved older version of it i mean original version of it you want to see you can just click here so it will simply tell you what is the original version so in the original version we don't have a product details right again you can switch back to the draft version right all right yeah so uh, again the same thing happened uh, when i click the save button Okay, the prepare and activate draft action will get triggered which will simply update the original database table from the draft database tables so i'll do it again so object got saved successfully so if we go back and just execute this this is your original database tables okay so your data is updated here so in case uh, uh, if you have the database table which was sorry yeah, the draft database tables of product uh, just refresh and see it won't be there okay so this is how basically the draft will uh, work between this active database table and uh, uh, 
uh, draft database tables. All right, I close everything right now. So just come back up. Uh, one you now you have one active record. Okay. So I'll show you the another uh, uh, action which is uh, discard draft. Just go back and click on edit. Okay. So let's say you are trying to create again. So let's say something like this time you are buying orange. Okay. Which is of uh, 5 kg. And it's going to be something like 200 USD. So right. And I apply it here. So as soon as I just uh, uh, created the new product, okay, I realized that this second item I don't want. Okay, um, I want to delete this. So what you what you should do is there is something called discard draft. Just click this and click on this discard. So uh, your uh, uh, it will just uh, went back to your previous active version. So so this is about you know uh, draft actions and uh, you know you uh, I hope you have some idea about it uh, a draft uh, how the draft handling is working and uh, how do we define it and all. So in case if you have any questions just uh, just do a comment. So if you like this video just give a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.